Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do something that I don't think I've ever done in the past and that is I am filming an intro to our 10 day Jersey Shore vacation. Um, I feel the need to do this in light of some of the things that have happened since we have returned home from vacation and I just thought it was important to share with you guys just the consequences of traveling right now because in traveling and being on vacation I have come to the realization that a lot of people do not take this COVID thing seriously at all and there are actually even some people that don't believe that it's a real thing which <laughs> makes me really sad because I have lost people in my life due to COVID. So that's very frustrating. But anyway, this is supposed to be a happy vacation vlog, but I just feel the need to discuss a couple of things with you guys before we get started, just so that while you're watching, you can have a good understanding of how I felt going away on this trip. If you have watched my previous vlogs, you know I was super excited about taking a beach vacation. I really didn't think we would be going away this year. I really didn't think it was safe to go anywhere or to try travel anywhere. I had no desire to travel out of state, but I figured if we were doing a beach vacation where we were sharing a house with our family and just tried to take all of the precautions, everything would be just fine. And what I have come to learn in traveling, even though I was staying in New Jersey and here in New Jersey, our numbers have been very low in the town that I live in. We have gone days. I believe we might have even gone over a week at this point with no new COVID cases, which is wonderful. But one thing that I realized is not everyone takes precautions. And when we went to the Jersey Shore, I was very nervous. I was the one person in the family who fought it for a while. I did not want to go. I did not feel that it was safe to go. I'm just kind of a better safe than sorry type of person. And I am overly paranoid about things. So I really just wanted to play it safe. That being said, everyone else in the family was going with or without me. And you'll hear me talk about this a little bit during um, our vacation as well. So. I was in a situation where either I was going to sit home alone for 10 days or I was just going to go with everyone else. And I felt that at that point, if somebody were to get sick, they're just going to bring it home to me anyway. And at least if I were there, I can kind of oversee things and enforce hand sanitizer. I could keep our area of the house clean. I just felt it would be beneficial for me to come along and do the best that I could possibly do under the circumstances. So I allowed myself to get excited about the trip because I knew there was no doubt I was going on this vacation. So when we went to the Jersey Shore, the beaches were pretty safe. I feel like when you're at a beach, at least in the area where I live, you are very far apart from other people. You are never laying down your blanket I would say within 15 or 20 feet of somebody, you're, you're pretty far apart. So that was not an issue. Swimming in the ocean, same thing. You're really far away from other people. Even going on the rides, I felt like they did a really great job. You had to have a mask on in order to get into the ride area of the boardwalk. They spaced the children apart. They sanitized the ride every single time. That was all great. But when you were on the boardwalk, which you need to walk on the boardwalk to get to the rides or to get to anything or to do anything, there were really no precautions being made. Most people did not wear masks. Even in the stores, most people did not wear masks. The workers, for the most part, did not wear masks. So that was scary. And once I realized that the standards at the Jersey Shore and the people and the workers that are there were so different from the town where I live in where you cannot go into a store without a mask and it's really a big deal and you will get kicked out if you do so. It was just really <laughs> shocking to me that those precautions were not made at all. And it made me very nervous because we're traveling with all of the grandparents on this trip. The first part of the trip was with Jim's immediate family. And even though it is immediate family, there were, I believe about 22 people in the house because my husband has a lot of brothers who have families of their own who were there. 
so that had me feeling a little bit uneasy and the grandparents were there then we met up with my immediate family which was 11 people but that also included my mom who was elderly so <laughs> my level of anxiety was very high on this trip okay here's the important part and the main reason that i wanted to share this with you guys today the last couple of days of vacation Emily started to feel really sick and if you watch my vlogs you'll see I think the second day in I started to have a headache, stomach problems, sore throat. I just had a lot of stuff going on and in um, editing my videos which I've been doing the last day or two I realized that I really I didn't look good and I really just wasn't feeling well. Well the last three days now Emily's had a fever of 101.7 and she just has not been feeling well at all. She has a lot of the symptoms. So the first thing that I did when we returned from vacation was I took her to get tested for COVID. And unfortunately, it's going to take anywhere from two days to two weeks to get the results back. So of course, we're all a nervous wreck. We're very scared because we traveled with elderly people. I wish I was not in this situation right now and I you could probably hear it in my voice I haven't been feeling well I've had a sore throat I've had a headache um, congested I just you know if it weren't for everything going on I would just say I quote a cold and you know I'm, I'm just dealing with a cold right now but obviously with everything going on I I'm really scared and I'm pretty worried about what the results are going to be so I will let you know when I know <laughs> how the results came back, but I just wanted to give you a heads up. I kind of wanted to give you an introduction to where we're at now before we go back in time and show you where we've been. So just keep in mind that you are taking some pretty big chances if you're traveling right now. And I really, really wish that my family listened to me and we didn't go, especially now that there is this threat. Um, it was really nice to be on the beach. It was great to spend time with family, all of those things, but I could have skipped a year and been fine with it. We travel a lot every summer, so to just play it safe one summer was not that big of a deal to me personally. Okay, so I just wanted to let you guys know all about that. That's where we're at now. Sadly, within the next two days to 14 days, it's Emily's 18th birthday. It's also her graduation party and she will be off to college. So there are so many things that will be directly affected by this in the event that the test comes out positive. If you guys have been following my vlogs, you know it has been one heck of a year for Emily and I wouldn't be surprised if this happens just, just because of the way things have been going for her. Unfortunately, she's had Kind of everything that could go wrong did go wrong this year for her so i really really hope that it's just some type of a virus that she picked up i am hopeful that we all just have a cold but i'll keep you guys updated i'll let you know continue to watch my vlogs because i'll probably include it in one of the upcoming vacation vlogs that i'll be sharing with you guys so that's all i just wanted to let you guys be in the know current time what is going on because the next several videos are going to be what has already happened in the past while we were on vacation so thank you so much in advance for watching if you have not yet subscribed i would love to have you subscribe just hit that subscribe button down there and let's get started with my jersey shore 2020 vacation vlogs hey guys it is july 11th and we just checked into our seashore house i just got all unpacked and situated and now we're going to head to the beach. It's about five o'clock at night. So, so nice here. We didn't hit any traffic. We are in Seaside Park and I'm excited to start our trip. It's a quick room tour. I have my toiletries, makeup, unpacked most of my clothes. In here, I just hung up my dresses, shoes. Madison and her friend will be sleeping here. And then I made our bed up, beach stuff, and my snacks and then here's like my computer stuff my books a couple of drinks and i have this for coffee this for cold drinks and this for wine <laughs> and that's pretty much it
always know where to turn for the bakery because it's still my favorite house. It just looks so creepy and beautiful. Good morning guys, it is day two of vacation and I am at the beach. I got up at like 6.30 in the morning, walked down here. I like to do yoga on the beach early in the morning. It's just one of my favorite ways to start off the day when we're down the shore. And then I walk to the bakery <laughs> and get a pastry and a coffee. And that's been working out really well for me for a while now. So last night we had served taco, which is my favorite place to eat around here. So that was exciting. We just kind of got settled in and didn't really do much of anything last night. So. I'm up bright and early, ready to start my day, kick off my vacation doing some of my favorite things, which include the bakery <laughs> and yoga on the beach. So I ended up getting a cheese danish. I brought my own cup for coffee and I'm going to start reading The Unhoneymooners. And I found this little cabana area to sit in the shade with a view of the house that I love. <laughs> Monday and I actually slept in this morning. I wasn't feeling good so I didn't go for my run but we did walk up to the boardwalk and get coffee which was nice and now we are enjoying another beach day. It's like 90 degrees today. Still reading my book. It's been really great and just gonna relax at the beach probably all day. We just got back from the beach. It is really hot today. <laughs> I think I already said that. And now I'm going to shower and we are going to tour the Jersey Shore house. If you're not familiar with the Jersey Shore, it is a show based on the boardwalk in New Jersey right here in Seaside and where they film it is right down the road from us. And since Emily is a fan, we're going. Visiting the Jersey Shore house was a lot of fun. Now we're headed to the boardwalk. It's still so nice out. I'm like loving this weather and I'm sure we're gonna have lots of fun tonight. We're gonna do rides and games and all of that good stuff. Well, this is kind of a bummer. I am headed back to the house by myself because I'm just really not feeling good at all. This morning I had the headache, then this afternoon I felt great. And then I'm just gonna step away for a second so I can talk to you guys. We were um, going on rides and stuff. Sorry, it's really dark. And I just started feeling really nauseous. And 
I ate something for dinner I normally wouldn't eat at home. It was like this garlic heavy butter fried chicken. And although it tasted really good, I don't think it's settling too well in the mask and the heat. And I just think I'm realizing that I can't do the mask for that long. I start to get really nervous. I get my anxiety just starts to act up and I feel like I can't breathe. And I just think a combination of everything, I started to get really queasy and we, you know, the kids went on rides, we finished up, we were about to play games and get ice cream and do all the fun things that I love and I just had to peace out. So <laughs> that's what I'm doing. I'm headed back to the house now by myself, sadly, and hopefully they're all having fun without me and I'll try again another night, but I think I just, I just need to take a break, maybe lay down for a little bit and hope this nauseous feeling passes because that's just the worst feeling in the world. So that's it for today. Let's hope tomorrow is a better day. <laughs> Good night.